What's up guys, Jason here for the love of tractors. So it's Friday and I kind of screwed up this week. I had three videos ready to go and I thought I uploaded all three of them. Well, it turns out I only uploaded one. Actually, I uploaded the other two, but uh, I didn't schedule them correctly. So the other two videos will run next week. So I guess we're a little light on videos this week. I kind of apologize for that and it kind of sucks for me because it kind of messes up traffic and views and all that stuff but whatever <laughs> i guess none of that stuff really matters but you know like it's an ego thing you want to see your traffic increase <laughs> so all right i told you guys a while back i was gonna do a review on some chuck tires chuck's tires so chucky stevens uh some of you guys may be familiar with him he writes for the toy farmer or has in the past uh, he is Super well known in the 1 16th scale world. He is a pretty awesome customizer, to say the least. Um, he's one of those guys where when I'm at St. Louis, I seek him out because I want to see what he's done. Um, and he has decided to dip into the 1 64th scale market as far as wheels and tires go. And so. I did that first wheel and tire video where I looked at Daryl's tires and I looked at Standy tires and I think even a couple CD model offerings and um, I didn't do Chuck's tires because I didn't have any Chuck's tires at the time so I uh, got together with Chuck said hey send me some stuff and he did and um, anyway so here they are so these are uh, like his planetary which side is the camera on? It's over here. These are some planetary hub rims. I, th I think these are, I believe these are cast. And so these are like a, a plastic, a resin plastic thing. Or they could be 3D printed and I'm an idiot. Probably something I should have known before I did this video, right? Yeah, eh, whatever. <laughs> so you get the nifty little hole back here. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't even know what size that is. I'm guessing... Um, hmm, 1 16th or 3 seconds. I don't know. Um, anyway, you get the planetary hub. So you'll paint these up, obviously, and you paint, paint your little paint. You'll paint your little hub a uh, different color, uh, probably blue, because these are going to be on a new Holland for me. And then if you want to duel them up, he's got these really cool, gosh, this, I can't show the detail too well here. He's got these really cool, uh, banded duel things you can stick on there so that works super easy boom banded duel obviously you'd stick a dab of glue or something on there and uh, do it that way but anyway that's that um, so super simple if you want to do triples uh, I mean like I've got there let's, let's just grab another one boom triples look at that sweet so easy um, okay, so now Chuck has a lot of different tires, I mean several, and I went with a 42-inch, uh, uh, I think this is a 20.842, I think, <laughs> is, is what I remember ordering anyway. Um, so you can see, now, to triple these up, so I don't exactly have the right fitment here, and that's my fault, not, not the tires, not Chuck's fault, uh, so I stuck two of those together. To triple these, I had to kind of hang those over a little bit, and that's fine. You just, I'll just adjust my axle rod, no big deal. And then uh, you stick that one on there, boom, triples. Those look pretty sweet. Now, here's the trick with a sort of cast tire uh, or whatever. The, the, the tires are rubber, not cast. And these, these are rubber. So this is some sort of injection mold, vulcanized, I don't know. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We want the tires. We don't care how they're made. Uh, so there's some cleanup to do here. So I've got to do that a little bit. And I'll be honest, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that just yet. Obviously, you can't get into this with a grinder or anything. You're going to mess up your tire. But these are really nice looking tires. I mean, that's just all there is to it. After I get them cleaned up, there's going to be nothing, uh, no complaints with these tires. They are great. Great tread pattern detail. Great tread pattern in general. And uh, just a really nice, nice looking tire. Reasonable price too. Uh, I think these come in around three bucks a pair, roughly. Um, 
maybe give or take a little bit there, but very reasonably priced. And then, now, the next tire I want to show you because these are super cool. Chuck is doing a road-worn tire. So check that out. So let's say you got an older tractor, right? You don't want to put, like, these new, shiny, awesome tires on there. You want it to look like it's an older tractor and it's been used. So those are worn down uh, quite a bit. And I, I would almost suggest, uh, and maybe I'll run this by Chuck and he'll, he'll tell me where to go, but uh, maybe even do like an intermediate size. Uh, you know, so not necessarily uh, brand new and not necessarily completely worn, but something in between. That would be sweet too. But, uh, you know, I don't know if that's even possible. But anyway, these road-worn tires are really cool. And uh, I'm going to use the daylights out of these in the future for sure. And uh, he just brought out some other versions, too, of different tires. So, anyway, that's it, guys. Real simple video, kind of short and sweet here. And like I said, sorry for the mix-up this week on my part, not getting other videos uploaded. But, um, yeah, that's, that's that. So, Chuck's Tires. That's another uh, place for you to go get wheels and tires. He's got lots of uh, different variety there. Uh, Quality is good, especially if you don't mind doing a little bit of cleanup work yourself on the, the tires themselves. Um, price is good. So another outlet. So I, I had somebody actually ask me, I posted on uh, Instagram about these tires, and somebody asked me if I was going to quit using the other tires that I use. Absolutely not. I mean, it's just, this is another tool in your toolbox. Um, these tires, it's just another option, and it's and that's what it's all about, especially when you're doing custom work, is you want a bunch of options. You want to be able to do a lot of stuff. So that's what we're going to do here. Uh, anyway, hopefully uh, maybe in a week or two, if I get a little time, uh, if spring slows down for me some, uh, I can get these on a tractor, and we'll see how they look. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend, and as always, happy tractor hunting. Have a good one.